exclusively spoke to Union Minister Dr. Rajkumar Rajan Singh, whose home was attacked by the vandals. Listen into this exclusive conversation. What happened yesterday night at your place? Uh, yesterday, I just landed to Imphal for at inaugurating oh, one international right. seminar on uh, Indo-Myanmar strategic relations organized by the Manipur University. Then after that, I was called on with uh, the governor of Manipur. And then I met some of the city, senior citizens uh, group in my home. Then ultimately by about 8 p.m., from three different directions, uh, the youths are coming at the midst of the uh, curfew. Curfew was imposed. Uh, the Impal East and West. Impal is my area. Uh, the, the total curfew was there yesterday. So by 8 p.m., three different directions, groups of people uh, came towards my uh, the house. Then I have some doubt. Accordingly, I informed to Mr. Kuldeep, the security advisor currently stationed at Impal, and this is the things I need some uh, extra uh, reinforcement. He sent it. And ultimately, the crowd has come up with all the petrol bombs, stones, and the, some long bamboos where they brought it. Then finally, our security personnel, state forces, they uh, drifted out from my local area using smoke bombs and the tear gases. And even then, they use the caterpillars, and they hit to some of the uh, police officer, and they were annoyed also again. And none of our my local area was not involved in this. From no. my polling board, no one is involved. They are rather protecting their crowd, but those people are coming from different assembly constituency, and they are not from my locality. And it seems that this is an organized crime, not mob. When I submitted uh, the memorandum to Prime Minister to uh, help for bringing down the normalcy and also to uh, intervene with the security, extra security forces. And in that, I mentioned one para, that is that the, those 10 MLAs of uh, Cookie Group might have been uh, pressured from multiple angles, including militancy. That was my wording. And then in one local Delhi newspaper published in Manipur in English medium, the heading is like this. Uh, the 10 MLAs were demanding under the pressure of the mili Cookie militant, by, said by R.K. Ranjan. And that I never said. And then that, perhaps that paper should be the responsibility of unnecessarily provoking. So you think uh, fake wrongly. news is also a responsible um, uh, yeah. uh, for that? So when is, uh, uh, when is uh, Honorable Amit Shah going to come? And how the solution will take place, you feel? Uh, till, see, uh, in the daytime, it is almost normal. In the nighttime, how this massive group is coming. Somebody is behind it. Who are those behind that has to be found out by the intelligence? It should be found out. See, when we call a meeting for public, no one was turned off. And how they decided to the night it will be attacked to R.K. Ranjan's house? Who decided? And who directed it? And that is a questionable. Um, we all hope that peace will be restored in Manipur, and I think your appeal will be also the same. Yeah, I'm. I'm just only not only me. My colleague, one uh, the outer MP, with Dr. Loro Pose, also jointly we organize and we convince uh, the uh, the sensible citizens of uh, different communities to bring the normalcy. That was my approach. My colleague uh, Kamalika Sengupta is joining us on the broadcast. Kamalika, the key takeaways from this conversation that we just played out and how's the situation on the ground? In how many districts do we still have curfew? Uh, curfew is there in East and West, and also in Chura Chandrapur and uh, in affected areas. 
see uh, the takeaways from this conversation is number one thing the union minister himself also feels that there is a strong force behind which wants manipur to be disturbed till from the morning there is no fresh violence incident reported but yesterday night you know the way this union home minister's home was uh, attacked you know as he was saying to us that the youths were coming and they were coming from some outside place not from their locality and suddenly they started attacking and he uh, that point of time ke- uh, got in touch with the security adviser kuldeep singh and then the security agencies uh, have sp- uh, sent people i mean the army and the forces there then also there was a i mean there was this yes. fight between this uh, miscreants and the forces and then he was he, he was uh, safe hmm. uh, to one day before to that we have seen govindas is also a minister in the state his house was also attacked so uh, union minister was of the opinion there is something which is wrong number one fake news is very much responsible anything okay. and everything is going a very i mean taking different turns and directions number one number two is there is an attempt by there is there is a requirement of political outreach more people and now the thing is that both the sides should be convinced yesterday we have seen that the home minister himself has appealed and the home minister will go on monday that's what we are getting it okay. he's going to stay there three days so political outreach is required at this point of time it's a political uh, problem and will require political solutions thank you kamalika for getting us all the details on that very important story